How are we doing, hockey fans? Welcome to another episode of The Three Show, where we bring you the very best from the NA3HL. It might only be October, but the competition is fierce as teams are approaching the quarter pull of the season. We are down to just one undefeated team left. We will talk about them in just a minute, but first, we've got some news to get to. We've got another former NA3HL player doing well in the North American Hockey League. Kyle Bauer is tied for third in points for the Anchorage Wolverines as he has three goals and eight points through 11 games. The 2021-2022 NA3HL Rookie of the Year and the All-NA3HL First Teamer is in his final season of junior hockey and looks to be taken to the null just fine, 11 games in. Coming up this weekend, we've got the best rivalry in the league taking place between the undefeated Granite City Lumberjacks and the Mason City Toros. The Jacks are 7-0, outscoring their opponents 33-15 as they just swept the Peoria Mustangs. Mason City is 3-3 on the year, and they were just swept by the defending champion Rochester Grizzlies. Then we've got a Central Division showdown between Milwaukee and Oregon. The Powers sit in second place with 11 points and a 5-4-1 record. The Tradesmen have won three in a row and are currently sitting at 4-2. It should be a nice little battle in Wisconsin here in mid-October. Finally, it's a rematch of last season's South Division Finals as the Roadrunners visit the Rhinos in El Paso for a three-game series. Texas is 5-1 this year and have won four in a row. The Rhinos are 4-1 and, and have run four in a row as well as they just swept the Texas Brahmas in a three-game series in North Richland Hills. An intriguing series happening in Rhino country this weekend. There are 26 games you can watch this weekend on NHL TV. You can follow the NA3HL on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for even more content on your favorite team. Download the NA3HL app and be sure to check out NA3HL.com for up to the second scores, stats, and standings. That's all for us here on The Three Show. Be sure to come back and join us next week when we break down the latest from the NA3HL.